Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is path sum three. We have a binary tree which contains integer values. Find the number of paths that sum to a given value. Now a path uh, does not need to start from the root, but it needs to go downwards. We can consider a five to three here a path, five to one a path, negative three to 11 a path, so on and so forth. And we just want to find the total number of paths that equal that sum. So, the most straightforward approach would be to do a depth first search at each node. So say that we start at the root and check to see while we're traversing down in a depth first search if any of these paths equal eight. If they do, we increment our total by one and we can check each one for every single path. But the problem is the paths don't need to start from the root, right? So we'd have to also check for this node going all the way down, this node going all the way down, and so on and so forth. So the time complexity starts to become exponential. But regardless, let's go ahead and try to implement that solution. Um, the way that I suppose I could do it is to have two methods, one for I'm going to call helper. And this is going to be the thing that actually counts up the, the path sum. Uh, I'm going to initialize a, a self variable, kind of like a global variable here, and we'll make that equal to total. So for now, I'm going to pass on the helper method. Uh, this is going to be the main part where we just do a normal depth first search, right? So if you remember, all that is is if not node, return. Otherwise, we go left and we go right. And finally, that, that, that'd be it. Uh, but here we want to call our helper method. And what do we want to pass? Well, basically, we want to pass the current node and also the current value. And that way, what we're going to do here in our helper is going to do a depth first search again. And we'll say, same thing, if not node, return. But we are going to call the left as well as add to this. Uh, actually, we don't need to do that, do we? Um, I suppose we will pass in the current. And we'll pass in the current here as well. And finally, we'll say, hey, if cur uh, plus the current node's value equals sum, then we'll increment our total by one. And I'm trying to think if I need to add to this current value. Uh, I suppose I do. Um, I have to add to this current no dot value. And that should be it. Uh, all I have to do now is call the step for search with the root and make the, oh, we don't need to do that. We just need to pass in method. Well, uh, I suppose we need to pass it in here too then. Uh, well, I think we can just pass zero here. Uh, I think that's fine. Finally, return the self.total. So let's see if this works. I may have missed something here. Uh, looks like that's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted. All right, so that's great. It works, but this isn't very good. This is um, obviously doing lots of repeats. Is there a way that we could do this in O of n time? Like we are passing through every single node. Can we somehow take some value uh, and kind of keep track of everything that we've been th through so far rather than just doing it over again? So to do that, that's a little trickier, right? We have to pass some sort of object. So how about uh, we have a dictionary? We'll have a lookup table that's going to store um, kind of like two sum where we'll store the amounts that we've gathered so far and uh, count the number of paths that we can bring over. And if we find that 
yes, at this node, we've um, able to get this sum subtracting everything from before, then we will add the total number to our total as well. Okay, so that's much trickier, but we could do it. We can do that. And we'll initialize a uh, lookup. And we'll make this a default dict with integer values being the default value. And we no longer need this helper method. We could uh, do this all in one depth first search. But to do that, we will have to pass in the node as well as let's call it root sum. And we need to pass this along uh, to get this right. So first, uh, let's go ahead and just delete that. We don't need that. Um, it'll still be, if not node, return. And now what are we going to do? OK. So we take our root sum. And we're going to add to it our current node's value. Now we want to add to our self total if anything we've found inside of our lookup table, I believe. Mm. So we look at our lookup and get our root sum and we'll add to our total, assuming that something uh, is already there. Uh, so what else? Now we have to hmm, self total look up. Uh, I suppose we have to update our dictionary, and what we're going to do is add root sum as well as sum, because we have to keep in mind this is going to be uh, as we add up moving forward. If we want to uh, figure out if we could subtract it, it's actually adding, right? So that is going to be equal plus one. And we'll backtrack here. Once we're out of this part, we will have to subtract the same thing. So the only tricky part here is trying to figure out what I need to pass. I believe it's root sum. And root sum starts with zero. So let's see. I, I don't think I missed anything, but let's make sure that works. I think it does. Let's go ahead and submit that. Dang it. Okay. So I missed something up here. Uh, it's, um, oh, you. Um, why didn't it? So I'll put one. Hmm. It might be because I haven't initialized my lookup at sum to equal one. Let's see if that's why. So let's take this and just make sure this works. Okay, so I believe that's right. Yeah, so I had to initialize, of course, my lookup. Start with one, otherwise it's going to start at zero, so it's not going to add up um, the ones whether that do equal that sum. So. Here we go. This is the O of N solution. Very tricky, um, but it's you know if you have those concepts from like two sum before and look up and you're able to do this step first search, hopefully you can kind of get it and um, and understand what I'm doing here. So thank you for watching my channel and remember, do not trust me because I know nothing.